Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronax. In this video, I'm going to be summoning for Secret Art Storm Sword, the artifact of Selene. I need two copies. Can I get even one? With 1,085 Covenant bookmarks, that is 217 pulls. Will I even get one artifact? I hope I get both of them early on, to be honest, because I've used a lot of Covenant bookmarks so far to uh, get uh, Celine and her artifact. So, let's go. Let's start it off. I'm gonna be skipping four star animations because this might be long. So, let's do it up. Okay. I have Celine. She's built. She's plus 15 skill ups. I did showcase her in Real Time Arena RT World Arena and I showcased her in Guild Wars. I need to try different builds with her. I need to try, um, there was like 87 <laughs> summons left. I couldn't skip it, so you know what that means. <laughs> what is that gonna be? Yes, wow, we got one already. Could we get the second one before I hit the pity? But if I get close, I'm gonna complete it though. Let's, let's continue, this is insane. This is really, really good. This is looking a lot like my summoning session for Celine, because I got the artifact early on. But boy, oh boy, it took. Yeah, it, it took a long time to uh, to get more. Like, I used everything. I used everything in that video. You can check it out. Uh, it was a thousand two hundred something covered in bookmarks. Karen, that's. It's a great hero. I might have her at Triple S already. This is my second account on the global server. I have three accounts. First one's on global, third one is on Europe. Been playing for a year and uh, seven months. It's been a pretty crazy ride. Been grinding like crazy every day. It's, uh, it's definitely a lot of time invested in this game. Yeah, I can't skip, so it's not, it's not, uh, you know, a five-star artifact or hero. I usually uh, have my four-star animations that cannot be skipped. But like I said, this could be long. I might have to use every Covenant bookmark that I have. And I'll do it. I'll, if I can't get this other artifact, because I already have her artifact, right? It's at... Um, yeah, well, I just need two more copies. Now I just need one more, and then I can bring it to plus 30. If I don't do it, that means I need to wait for the next month bottle of knowledge in the uh, powder of knowledge shop. And, well, I'd like to keep that for something that is uh, limited. That would be much better. Okay, what do we have here? It's an artifact. Could it, could it be the second one? Could I be that lucky? Yes! Oh boy, this is amazing. This is amazing. I have it. So I did you unfortunately I did use the bottle of knowledge uh, to to uh, limit break this artifact, you know, one time. So that is unfortunate because what if I just go for the pity now? 50 summons left. To be honest, like I might just do it. I might just do it. Because uh, if we just check my Celine. I did do her, uh, a memory imprint for her already. So I got two copies, okay? It's no secret, I got two copies of her. I did pity both of them. I didn't get lucky, I didn't get it earlier. So it's 6%, I get 3% attack if I get another copy of her. To be honest, I'm just gonna summon more. I'm just gonna summon more and we'll see what happens because I'd like to get 3% more attack and I feel this hero is gonna be very useful uh, I mean, I'm not going to be getting her on every of my accounts, but I mean, I don't have, you know, uh, I don't want to get heroes on each of my accounts unless they are limited and they are good. Because as a free-to-play player, I, I just can't have, can't use resources for the same hero on three accounts if I want to showcase to you guys a new hero every time it comes out and have the Molagoras to skill up that hero, which I'm running out of. I have enough for ML Violet, actually. So I'm pretty hyped about uh, ML Violet. The problem is I don't even have enough to pity the, uh, well, ML Violet, ML natural five-star hero. So yeah, I'll have to uh, be lucky. 
to pull him. So hopefully that happens because I have the skill up to plus 15 him on this account, account number two, which has Celine, the one I'm recording on right now. But if I don't pull him on this account, then I don't know about pulling on the other ones. They don't have the Molagora. You know, I have Molagora saved up on account number one for Spectre Tenebria. She probably needs still like 20. And Arbiter Vildred on account number three, he still needs... Yeah, my Molagora is there. He probably needs like uh, at least 10 more. Maybe 15. So... Yeah, it's uh, there. That's the plan. That's the my current projects there. But on account number two, I just plus fifteen Celine, and it's gonna be ML Violet next. Looks like we might just hit the pity. Let's see. Let's see. Never know. Maybe I just get some dust, some four star heroes that are actually usable, like um, for their memory imprints or for their uh, moonlight version for memory imprints for that. But unfortunately, yes, we cannot get other 5-star heroes. We cannot get uh, Moonlight heroes. Not even 3-star Moonlight heroes when we're uh, summoning on a banner. Oh, Sid. Talking about great memory imprint, man. Speed, and you get 10 speed at Triple S. I have him Triple S on account number 1. I use him heavily. He's an amazing hero. And Fire Shiri as well. 14 speed memory imprint. Okay, 5-star. It's an artifact. What is it going to be? It's gonna be this her artifact. It is. Man, I use that bottle of knowledge. At least I'll have an extra copy. Maybe I, I need to use it, but it's only gonna be gonna be like a 75% chance. It's okay. Let's get, just go for the pity. I mean, it's just a few covenant bookmarks. I, I six starred her and everything already le max level. So I can't even use that copy for uh, you know promoting her to six star. Okay. It's something here. It's a five star. Is it artifact or hero? Artifact. <laughs> oh my god. Wind Rider. Well, that's good. It's not her artifact. Uh, Wind Rider. I don't have one maxed out. So let's keep on going here. So seven more for the pity. I. To be honest, I was not expecting to get the artifact that quick definitely not my luck with artifacts has been really crappy really crappy but looks like it's turning around okay that's it i'm joining three times i pity celine three times in a row do you understand what a pity three times in a row means that means my luck is complete garbage for that at least my luck with artifact is is turning around it's coming back i know i'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat you're hitting pity you're joining the 121 club it feel i mean it's okay from time to time but like non-stop why why are you doing this oh man so let's uh let's limit break her artifact do i even have all of them here i filled up my hero inventory you know i just like go in here Get some dust here real quick. So we got one. Let's make sure we don't, uh, you know, sell that. And yeah, I got one star, two star there from doing friendship summons to fill that up. And we'll just go ahead and go grab that. Actually, I should make a space for Celine. Do her memory imprint as well. That's some extra damage, man. I'm, uh, I can't wait to try out uh, her damage. And I want to try her out on different builds. So my question to you guys which builds you want me to try her on the next one i was planning is actually uh using the gear on assassin coley to actually uh try her on speed and see how much damage she's able to do so let's just grab yes that's it and let's grab the uh yeah that's it we'll just grab both it's all good and uh, Wind Rider, I don't use it right now, so it's okay. We'll uh, work on that. Look at these gold trench missiles. I'm gonna, if I don't pull Violet, if I don't pull Violet on this account with these Mystic Summons, so right now I have 110 pulls. That means, yeah, I still need uh, 77 pulls to get him when he shows up. <sighs> I, I hope I get him. Uh, I hope I get lucky. Uh, sort of like 
it's been a while since I like pulled a hero before the pity across my three accounts, I believe. So let's just go here real quick and uh, let's hit her with the memory imprint. That's it. Let's do it up. I'm not gonna save an extra Celine to have her on a different build. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's free to play. I mean, just I mean, you should not be doing this as free to play. You should be saving your bookmarks for limited heroes. I'm doing this because I have the resources for it, and I feel that this hero I'm gonna have a lot of fun with, and I feel like she's she's actually quite strong, and I've been showcasing her, and her damage is crazy. So yeah, I might as well just go all in for uh you know, for her artifact, I want a 100% chance there. I want to try her out on my defense and see how it performs. Defense in Guild War, defense in Arena. But I'm not going to be doing this on my account number one and three. No way, not doing that. Let's actually log this other artifact and uh, enhance this one to plus 30. Uh, let's keep the small ones. What is up with that? I thought I had... Wait, oh, it's my other account that has more artifacts oops i have uh yeah epic and heroic uh, grade ones on uh, my account number one because i was switching accounts just before recording for some reason i thought it was this one well i was wrong so i'm gonna have to uh maybe get a few artifact charms for uh powder hmm yeah, I'll have to resort to that. Because it takes a lot of experience to bring this thing to, uh, to plus uh, 30. Well, I mean artifacts, especially the higher the grade. So we need like 20,000 experience plus like 30. Wait, 20? I don't even know. Let's just grab a few here. 1,000 each. Let's, ju let's just grab 30. It's, well, that's 29, whatever. That's good. Because, uh, you know, 378 is uh, is a lot to some of you guys. But I've been saving for a long time. And I have a lot of, uh, I still have three star artifacts that I can uh, get rid of. But it's not recommended to do this. As a free-to-play player, you should not be doing this. It's just I need to showcase the hero. And I, I need to get this, uh, this uh, show on the road here. So, uh, yeah, let, let, us, let us know what you think, like, what kind of builds should I be trying? I was thinking, like, Assassin Coley's gear, speed, see if her damage is going to be enough with and without the soul burn to, uh, to, you know, kill someone, kill something. And uh, I could try her on a, a bruiser build as well, like, more tanky. Uh, mm, yes, I do have enough here. Let's uh, maybe it lands a crit or not. But yeah, it's uh, that's the plan. That's the plan. I don't know if when I'm gonna be doing the the video using her on speed gear. I might just do it in combination with uh, ML Valad. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I pull him. But yeah, maxed out artifact. That's her stats right now. But like real quick, if I show you guys uh, the gear on Assassin Coley, this is faster if I show this by level. Sort this by level. I mean, it's gonna be something like this. And I'm really curious about how much damage she's going to be able to pull out. So, it's not the 251 speed that I have on my Assassin Coley. Because Coley has, uh, you know, 128 base speed, which is insane, like Assassin Sid. But it's still a uh, pretty decent uh, base speed. And 235 speed is definitely, like, quite solid. I don't have any speed memory imprints, but she actually, uh, sh she's pretty tanky with these stats. So, her attack goes down, of course, by... Uh, yeah, what, like less than 15%? And the crit damage definitely is suffering. That is, yes, that is uh, almost 20%. So, but damage drop of uh, at least 30%. But to be honest, with the damage numbers that I've seen out of her, I feel like she's going to be able to pull it off. Like, she's definitely, with the Soul Burn especially, she's going to be able to land quite a few kills on squishier targets. And even on squishier targets, I think with that speed gear, she's going to be able to one-shot. <clears throat> if she gets the attack buff uh, and uh, her passive triggers, the blink will be able to kill squishy heroes. Especially now with, the, with this. And of course, now I have more attack because your uh, attack memory imprints are actually affecting your uh, attack stat. If you didn't know... 
uh, yes. If you don't have any memory imprint on this hero, you're gonna have 9% less attack than me, let's say with the same gear. Uh, so yeah, like you can see here, if I just, you see, I'm under 4,000 now. So if you see my stats, you're like, dude, this gear is crazy. Well, yes, it is. Like these two reforged pieces are pretty crazy. The rest is destruction. This I got really lucky on. We were all able to get this from an event. This from Conquest uh, Point Shop for the current uh, season that's about to end. Well, it already ended. It's in preseason now. And this, and this is from uh, Hell Raid Carcanus, I believe. Just this stuff rolled fairly well. This one, not so much for offense. But, anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you like to be notified when I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. I got two playlists on the screen. I got uh, PvP uh, showcases of heroes on the top left. And on the top right, you got my guides, tips, and how-tos playlist. A lot of knowledge there. You should check them out, guys. If you're wondering how, much, like, how I got so much gold, check my gold guide for 2020. Uh, check my crafting videos, guys, if you want more in-depth knowledge about like what, how to deal with gear, how, like which one you should enhance, which one you shouldn't, when you should give up on enhancing gear, because to be honest, that's the most important thing in this game. That's where you're going to be losing the most gold when you're, you're doing bad decisions, when you're enhancing gear and you're pushing the gear too high, you have to give up. But anyways, uh, that's really it for this one, guys. Uh, hit me in the comment section. I'm Astronox, peace out for now.